The ongoing rivalry between AMD and Intel is to our advantage once more since it gives us access to excellent CPUs that we can experiment with and test inside ever more powerful systems. The Ryzen chips from AMD are built on a more efficient platform that allows the company to draw out more performance without relying on too much power, whereas Intel is in a bad position since it struggles with its fabrication plans. The solution the upcoming 15th gen Aero Lake launch. What exactly is this, and what can we expect? Let's find out in our video today. Right off the bat, we are fully expecting Intel to bring a new platform and processors that will be built on its 20A process. For those who don't know the 20A process is equivalent to a 2 nanometer manufacturing process. For example, the 14th gen Intel chips are built using a 7 nanometer process right behind AMD with TMC's 5 nanometer process. In layman's terms, the smaller the process, the more transistors can be crammed into the silicon, directly resulting in more power, performance, and a boost in efficiency. Regardless to say, that'll be an S-tier power move from Intel, and a much-needed one, considering it lagged the competition with internal struggles for a while now. Now, here's the fun bit there have been rumors and a ton of speculation online about exactly how much of an impact we're talking about regarding the 15th generation processors. For example, according to a forum from Anin Tech and backed up by Videocards.com Intel Aero Lake should be able to deliver a 5% increase in single thread and about 15% in multi-thread. What we are expecting though is to see some form of improvement that directly impacts the current generation of processors. The whole Raptor Lake refresh phase was interesting yes, and one of the many things it did was buy Intel more time to focus on putting everything in place. All with the objective of making Aero Lake as impactful as it can be. Now, if we ask you to name a term that instantly revives a piece of a boring mundane machine into an interesting and futuristic all of a sudden, what would you pick? Think for a bit, and if the answer is remotely close to AI, you're in the clear. Basically, we expect Intel to capitalize on this demand, and they might be doing it by utilizing the Intel CLPG Plus GPU architecture, which will benefit from extended matrix extensions and AI acceleration engine in a nutshell. This would enable the Aero Lake chips to further amplify data processing, alongside amping up graphics and video performance. These leaks get further solidified as Intel is currently marketing the upcoming Aero Lake as the world's first gaming CPUs that come with an AI accelerator. With the meteoric rise of AI PCS Intel is easily positioning itself with accelerators integrated into the CPU package, which should give AMD enough reasons to worry about. Now, while all that sounds good, when should we expect the processors? Intel teased the Aero Lake, suggesting the release date should be somewhere around late 2024-2025 launch. Though we are fully expecting the company to roll out the processors later this year with fingers crossed. Now the core and thread count is where you need to apply salt, because at this point that's anyone's guess. Intel could push further by implementing additional performance or efficiency cores to the new processors but it could also maintain what we have for each core tier and focus on somewhere else entirely without even noticing the core, threads, or speeds. Maybe new motherboard chipsets, a new LGA 1851 socket. Who knows? As things go with AMD processors or NVIDIA GPUs, it's best to hold on to your hats till we learn more about Aero Lake ahead of launch. Especially, after the performance figures have been confirmed and revealed, modern processors such as the AMD Ryzen 6000 or Intel 12th Gen cards are fantastic chips that can easily handle demanding games and software. So, upgrades aren't necessarily a requirement for a smooth experience. So, all we got to do is bite our time, have patience, and see what Intel has in store for us. Regardless, what are your thoughts on the upcoming Aero Lake chips? Do let us know, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe.
and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.